How's it going out there? In today's video, I want to talk about what I consider to be, for me, the most important piece of gear that I bought this year for my music career, for my career playing live gigs as an acoustic singer. And you might be surprised to find out that the most important piece of gear I bought this year was not a new guitar or a new amplifier or a new microphone or an iPad or anything like that. It was a dedicated camera. Because in order to get gigs, you have to have content. You have to have video material showing yourself in a real life situation so the client knows what to expect, right? And in order to create good video content, you either would have to hire a photographer to come out and do it, which I thought about doing, but the return on that isn't really very good. You'd have to spend quite a bit of money to have somebody come out and video you and edit you. And in this day and age, you really kind of have to take on all those roles yourself. Otherwise, it's just not cost effective. So I thought about for a while um, using my iPhone, which of course we can do. But I found that to set the iPhone up, to get all the gadgets and gizmos that you need, um, to get it to look framed out the way you want it to when you're taking live video at a gig. You know, you'd, you'd have to use the, the, the front camera of the iPhone, which doesn't have the best quality. And, you know, then you, you forego being able to use your phone as a phone, right? You have to, like, disable text messaging so that you don't get interrupted while you're videoing yourself. And I just found that I just didn't do it because it was just too much of a pain in the you-know-what. I wanted to get my Instagram, you know, popping off a little bit more. I wanted to start building a YouTube channel, which I'm now doing. And I had all these ideas, but really without a dedicated camera, you really, it's really hard to explore the creativity. It's just a little bit more complicated than it needs to be. So I went out, I did some research, I wound up getting myself a Sony ZV-1. And I started taking it to gigs, putting it on the tripod, you know, setting the mic levels, learning how to use it, and getting content of me playing many gigs. And it comes in handy because you get to see how you look, how you're presenting yourself to an audience. You get, you can chop up that video and, you know, make, make smaller videos, send it, to, send it to potential customers when they ask you, you know, what, did it, what is it that you do? You can have Instagram reels going. You're basically creating this stream of content that creates a more positive image of you out there in the world. People see you as being busy, getting stuff done. You know, you're taking part in where business happens, which is out there on social media, okay? And you're learning valuable skills about how to gather video content, how to take pictures, how to edit this stuff. This all goes into building your brand. And I got to say that since I started actively putting more content out there and scratching my way through this YouTube channel, which is going slowly, I don't have that many subscribers, but I'm working on it. I probably increased the amount of live gigs that I get probably 20 to 30%. And I haven't even had the camera for a year. So my suggestion to you is do some research, get yourself a good basic vlogging camera that does 4k video and takes good pictures i got the sony zv1 it's very cost effective very usable and get out there and start making content and you will thank me six months down the road when you see that you've got more bookings and a better presence and you are on your way to building up your live music career that's all I got for you today. Hope to see you in the next video. Take care.